It's not a vlog. It's a tutorial. This is a tutorial. We gotta change lives. Right, we are back to change lives. Hey YouTube, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not welcome back, it's your girl Brianna Jalen, and I'm here with my best friend. This one is pretty girl, yeah. Right. She's like, breathe. <laughs> so in today's video, we're gonna be teaching y'all how to roll. You know what I'm saying? Not just roll, but curl. So today we're gonna try to help you. I'm gonna get all the angles and really explain tips and tricks on how to pearl the perfect one. So first, Nana, if you're watching, it ain't that thing. All rollers are accepted here. We're gonna teach you different ways because everyone's different. Some people roll from left to right, some people roll right to left, some people roll in the middle, and some people just don't know. You can either break your rolls down or use a grinder. And we're both gonna roll leaf and we're both gonna roll paper. I'll roll a grinding leaf and then she'll roll grinding paper. Because it does make a mix of difference in how it smokes and stuff like that. So if you want a blunt that hits harder, you will break it down with your fingers. Then there's more airflow. If you want it to be smooth, you would grind it. Or it if burns, you're on your last limb. Yeah. <laughs> If you ever got a little bit of rose left, you break that stuff down. Don't put that bitch in the yeah. grinder. The grinder will, oh, your blunt will be this. Big. All the things you need to roll a leaf, definitely scissors. Any rolls her leaf is like very, very perfect. You'll see. But not everyone does it how she does it. But regardless, even if you roll like her or not, you still need scissors at the end. Because you're you're going to want to cut it to make it like, we have a, a lash spoolie. Something to I use to pack. Yeah, <laughs> something to pack it. And then a rolling tray. We'll Let's pack. get started. All right, so today we're rolling with some Swisher Sweet Leafs, which is like a backwood but cheaper. This is where you find the yes. opening. It's usually at the corner, at the end. Hold that, like that. The shit that comes out, guts. Throw that bitch away. No wood is perfect, but we're gonna freak this bitch. So today, since the leaf is, what's the word? Perpendicular, <laughs> this way, we're gonna be rolling right to left. Wet it, so that it's like not stale as fuck. So since our leaf has a hole in it, we're gonna fix it by putting a sheet. We're gonna stick it to the inside so it covers up the hole. Yeah. So Why do you crumble the sheet? Actually, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I see everybody else do, do it. <laughs> I just do it. To stick this to this, I would just probably just lick this again. And then, over oh there. So now your hole is covered. It'll look like this. So then that way, your rose doesn't fall out this hole. Perfect. So you put your desired amount. So now we're at this point. Yeah. So this is when the steps get crucial. Yeah. So what I do is I like, I start to like form the shape. Kind of roll form back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's gonna be sticky. So it's gonna take that shape. And then once you have like the general shape of it, that's when the scissors come out. This is what it would look like. You cut this top part right here because you're gonna fold it and you want to tuck it under like under the sheet because that's where the hole is mm -hmm. what does the licking do it's your glue since your herb has the shape of the blunt that's when the folding comes fold it under like that i usually do the middle because mm -hmm. then that way you can just like yeah. tuck that it's bit so once you got it all tucked in, that's when you start licking. And keep tucking. So this is relatively what it'll look like. These petals are like bigger, so it looks a little crazy. <laughs> but at this point, you would just pack it. And that pretty much be it. And then you clean it up. Cut the sides. Ta-da! <laughs> so you gotta seal your shit. So like your saliva is the glue, but it's not gonna always stick by itself. Yeah. So you have to seal it, which is just I'm sure okay. you see niggas do this right. for extremely too long. Too long. <laughs> they just be like, like what are you <laughs> doing? I be like, I be like, it's sealed. Right. But yeah, you seal it. Ta -da. <laughs> My turn. Well, I'm also gonna be rolling a leaf, but mine's gonna be different. I'm gonna use the grinder for the rose. You wanna find the end. Looks like it's like right here. <laughs> if you have nails, it's really easy, but you just used 
the little thing and you want to peel it back slowly because i promise you you will get a bad leaf and that shit will rip and you will be done for so then all this nasty stuff you put in the trash and if you want to be a bougie bitch you can go to the sink and rinse your wood off which is actually highly recommended because these things be dirty not gonna lie that's the inside this is the outside and so you'll get leaves like this you have this big stem you see it's like kind of folds itself that's gonna make your life really hard i hold my blunts like this and use my back two fingers to help to balance the rows in there or whatever and then like Open your grinder, this is what a grinder looks like. You're gonna put your rows in the grinder, kind of like this. We're gonna need a lot because one is rows, two is going into a leaf, and three is rows. Emphasis on the it's rows. So you push that down, you twist, twist, twist. Do it a little more. Okay, so then it goes into this part. So now we're gonna lick our wood. Ugh. Actually, no, I'm gonna go wet this. Push P. Obviously, we need more, so I'm gonna. I'm using this, my left thumb, to tuck at the front. And then, like Reagan said earlier, you form it. So I use these thumbs in the middle, and I use my back middle finger to, like, kind of fold it over, right? I remove my thumb and I have it in like this choke hold. You see? When you don't cut it, this is what it's, it's gonna look funky. And that's why you cut it off later. You use this, you pull over, and then I kind of finish with this side, tuck it, use your middle finger, and then that's when I lick and seal the middle so it doesn't like start unraveling. But remember there's a stem so it's not gonna stick for real. <laughs> so then you kind of just have to move on to the other side, like keep going down the blunt and then I'm gonna go back to the other side this is the stem and then tuck this to make it a little tighter before you seal everything you can get your spoolie and pack so that you can tuck and seal so this is the before Crumble up your paper, and instead of putting on the inside because they're whole, we're gonna put it on the outside because it's a stem. Get the shiny side, and usually I put the problem face down and then roll. This is a little thick little mama. She's thick. Yeah, she is thick. Kind of fold over, and then I'm using these two fingers and my thumbs to hold it down and my finger to pull over. And then you have to, this little bit of space, you have to seal that. Like that. Like that so that's that part and then you just move down you pull it make it tight not too tight though because if it's too tight it won't smoke down and I know it looks funky y'all but just wait like that okay so this is the before. So now we're gonna pack and pack and pack. <laughs> and then flip, pack and pack. And sometimes with woods, you kind of have both sides. It's like, what side do I like? Just gotta pick yeah. mm. that off, like that. And then we're gonna cut this off like that. And now you have a good little mouthpiece right here. This is the stem that makes it kind of look weird, but Hmm? And this is how you like it. This shit fat as butt when you put it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> this is my final product of my wood um, while wrapping the sheet on the outside. Two more blunts for y'all. Reagan's gonna do the grinded paper. Well, wouldn't it be a joint? Yeah, joint. So we're gonna start with grindy. Alright, once you got your product. Ooh. We grinded up our petals, so this is a grinded petal <coughs> joint. Same shit, I'll pull it up and put that bitch on there. Just like that. And this is funnel. Sprinkle some of that on there. This is the sticky end that I roll away from me. You're gonna fold it over so it has to stick. And you just fold it up. And I start licking as soon as I fold it. Mm -hmm. 
And I did that shit diagonally so it'll give you a smaller mouthpiece. And then you just tuck the rest of that shit under once you got it licked and sealed. Look at that. Then you tuck that bitch. Or pack, pack you. Yeah. What's that do? Oh, that's what they do in Cali. <laughs> so we do that so the weed don't fall out. Yep, and you got yourself a joint. How long that take? 30 seconds. You're gonna be rolling the non-grinded sheet. You take your paper, crumble it up. When we say shiny side, this is what we mean. There's like this sticky part up here. Like an envelope. Like an envelope, yeah. Since we're not grinding, you literally just, <laughs> and you break it down with your fingers like this. After you break down, it should look kind of like that. As your final, there's like way too much stuff going on over here. So the mouthpiece will obviously like be over here. But with sheets, when it's a lot like this, I always get the center secure because it be falling out. So I kind of use my thumbs in the middle and same like the leaf, I use my fingers to like go over it. But you don't lick yet because it's just gonna rip. And you have to be careful with papers too, they rip a lot easier. So if you make it too wet, it's not gonna work. Then you kind of just tuck. You can always let the rose drop because you can put it back. So then I'm gonna secure the middle part. Mm, not like that, y'all. It's a lot of finessing. Yeah, you gotta just work with it. Like, it might be a little loose at first, but you can fix it at the end. I would compare like rolling to like putting on lashes. Like no, the more yeah. you do it, the easier it is. Yeah, the more you do it, the easier it is. Hold over. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, good enough. This part right here is terrible. Don't do this, y'all. To fix that problem, you would just get another one. But don't wrap the whole thing around unless the entire thing is messed up. You just kind of rip off a piece like that, enough to cover it, crumble it up a little bit. One time. Put it in the middle. And then you just fold that bitch over and lick it. Look, and it's fixed. You would never Yay. even know. And then the other side, you pack. And then this is the side we're gonna cut. Mm. So then you cut it and that's a not grinded. Come up with a list of tips and tricks. Well, not tricks, tips in general right <laughs> yeah first we're gonna start with smoking etiquette person who rolls the blunt lights the blunt because it's bad luck for like, sure neck who to pass to okay okay y'all it really depends on who you're with i don't know i just pass to my left yeah right? sometimes you're in situations that i know reagan and i have been in where i'll be with sim cameron reagan and me cameron and reagan those are my sisters but sim's my girlfriend <laughs> like who do i pass it to my best friend or my girlfriend for reagan it's like do i pass it to my sister or my best friend puff, puff, pass that's just the like rule of smoking. Like Reagan and I don't puff puff pass because like why would we do that? But if you're smoking with people you don't know, hit that bitch twice and <laughs> give it back. And a big one for us, if you're gonna put the blunt out, ask everybody that's smoking with you if they uh, want it if it's okay yeah because like it might be done to you but not done to me next topic we're gonna dive into is tips in general about smoking this one's pretty short he said eat something before you smoke and leave enough room to eat after so you can go to taco, Get taco bell <laughs> I promise you taco bell hits so good after you smoke any food for a real for a smell you're gonna need this shit you can get it at your your local beauty supply store. Your yeah. local beauty supply. <laughs> this is the best stuff. Okay, y'all right. get the deal. Yeah. This smell is called Pussy. This is the best one. It's actually P-S-Y, but 
you know. Now, if you're hotboxing any place and you don't want the milk to get out, a good tip, put a towel under the door. And if you really want to be crazy, you're going to wet the towel. Not crazy wet, but damp that <laughs> hole. And then, you know, get it in the creases and you be a-okay. Or in the bathroom, run the shower. Yes, in the bathroom, run the shower because the steam and fog, it helps the smell. If you don't want it to smell, use a window. Open windows. If smoke you're outside. in the car, yeah, smoke outside, like, you know. If you do smoke a wood, like, your breath is going to smell like tobacco. Yeah. So, just be, bring some peppermints. Be um, aware. Because yeah. I'd be smoking and then going and touching on my mom, and she'd be like, you stink. Like, it stinks. Yeah, it stinks. The most exciting part, which is lingo. Yay! I think it also, like, lingo has a lot to do with where you're at. That's True, true. Yeah. yeah. It's where you're at. We're from the DMV. The lingo we're going to say is probably like nationwide. It's like, pretty universal. Yeah, it's pretty universal. This is a blunt. Here you go. This is a joint. Blunt, joint. Blunt, <laughs> joint. <laughs> Obviously, the difference a blunt is a leaf and a joint is paper. Gut is what's inside the leaf. Reagan said it earlier when you unravel it, and you can use that as funnel. Which is also called fun done. So those are a few of fun our lingos. A naked is it's a joint or blunt with no funnel, no, funnel. no tobacco, just straight gas. Yeah. When you face, that's when you smoke a whole blunt or joint by yourself. A roach is like at the end, like it's basically done. But you can keep those bitches and yeah. roll with that shit. Like, so roach blunt is after you smoke all week and you got like 20 little J's in your ashtray. You take the bitches out, unravel them, and make one nice roach blunt. And the thing about that is you got J's from backwards. You got J's from sheets and funnels. Mm -hmm. So it's all mixed in there. You put a little sprinkle of the fun done on top. Boom. Chiefing. Don't be a cheaper. I probably am one, but don't be a cheaper, y'all. Chiefing is when you have the blunt for way too long. Hog it. I'll be like, hey, Reagan, you want a mat? Mm -hmm. That means is we can either put it in one blunt or we can each roll our own blunts and smoke both of them together. Um, another thing is being flamed up or smoke me up or smoke me out. That's when you both get in the car and only one person has weed. That's like what niggas do. They'll do that to flirt. If you're looking for a nigga and he asks you to match, don't even answer. But if he wants to smoke, Session. You need to find a session as two or more people that are sitting for a, like a long period of time. We're gonna go into quantities. Quantities. Um, a dub is two grams. Skimp. That is a little as blunt. So then there's a KD, which is also just an eighth, which is three point five grams. Yeah. And I've also heard people call it a baby. Have you heard that? I think so. A quarter or a Vic. Michael Vic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, thirty-five. What? Okay, Thirty five and a Vic for a Vic what? Michael Vick. Michael Vick number seven. Seven grams. Yeah. A half. A half is just fourteen grams. It's a half of a ounce, ounce. Which is twenty eight grams. And ounces are also called like O's or zips. QP is four zips. So twenty eight times four, which is one hundred and twelve grams. Can stop there because that's just a lot. You're smoking more than that. You shouldn't even be watching this. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing we're gonna talk about in today's video. Is if you get too high. We want you to be safe. That is and called greening out. Yeah, smoke with responsibility. <laughs> this is the safety part of the video. Make sure we're drinking and smoking responsibly, y'all. Rose only. It's supposed to be fun. Like, yeah. you're not supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel good. Here's what I do, and it's top fucking secret. Every time, like, I smoke and I feel myself, like, getting too high, I just tell myself, like, every hit I take, like, I feel I feel good. Like you just tell yourself yeah. like this feels good. Inhale, stress, exhale, yes, peace. Like, yes, literally. Just, it's all pure. Yeah. So if you ever if you're one to smoke and get paranoid and you're like, oh, I wish I could smoke with my friends, just relax. Just breathe through it. You'll be fine. Back to like if you get too high, we said to grow up, take a shit, go to sleep, and eat something. The cold shower. Yeah, yeah. All seriousness, mm -hmm. like just be careful who you get your stuff from because you don't know yeah. what is. Thank you guys it. so much for watching. I hope this video taught you how to roll and whatever they need to teach you i hope it taught you my beautiful beautiful wonderful best friend helped me today and she did a wonderful job these are her blunts Boy, look at that without further ado please go roll yourself a blue hunt thank you for watching my video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time <laughs>